Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss pumping lemma for regular expressions. Pumping lemma for regular expression. The main purpose of pumping lemma is to prove a language is not regular. To prove a language is not regular. First of all, what is a regular language? What is a regular language? For a given language, if we construct a finite automata, for a given language, L, if we construct a finite automata, the finite automata is either DFA or NFA or NFA with epsilon transition, anything, if you are constructed finite automata that accepts all the strings, that accepts all the strings that belongs to L that belongs to L. Simply for a given language, if we construct a DFA or NFA, then that language is a regular language. If it is not possible to construct the finite automata, then it is not a regular language. And one more definition is, a regular expression, suppose a regular expression is constructed, if you are construct a regular expression, that generates exactly the strings that generate exactly the strings that belongs to the language that is if you are constructed a regular expression and the regular expression generates some set of strings and the set of strings exactly belongs to the particular language then the language is called regular language here pumping lemma purpose means to prove a language is not regular that means it is not possible to construct either DFA or NFA or it is not possible to construct a regular expression. Now come to the lemma. That is the statement is assume L is a regular language. Assume L is a regular language. N is number of states n is number of states in the finite automata that is for the language l we are constructed a finite automata we are constructed a finite automata <coughs> the finite automata contains n number of states n number of states find a word z find a word so here z is a word or a string find a string z that belongs to L. Z that belongs to L and mod Z and mod Z is greater than or equal to L. Is greater than or equal to L. That means what are the first steps? The first step is assume the given language is regular language. So if it is a regular language, then it has some finite automata. So N is the number of steps in the finite automata. And from the language, the language contains many number of strings. As you pick up one string, suppose the string is z. And mod means length. And length of the string is greater than or equal to n. Length of the string is greater than or equal to n. And further divide z into u, v, w. That is again z. So z is a string. That string is divided in this format z is equal to u v w with some conditions so some conditions are length of u v less than or equal to n length of u v less than or equal to n length of individual v the length of v is greater than 0 is greater than 0 so if z is equal to is divided in this format u v w with the conditions are mod u v is less than or equal to n and mod v is greater than or equal to 0 for all i greater than or equal to 0 for all i greater than or equal to 0 if u v power i w if the string is converted in the format u v power i w does not belongs to l so we have to prove that 
for a particular value of i for a particular value of i if u v power i w if it does not belongs to l means this language is not regular this language is not regular that is the procedure is very simple <coughs> how to prove first given a language assume the language is a regular language assume that language is the regular language now from the language take any example string a string that acts as the language that string is divided in this format the string is divided in the uvw format now for a particular value of i for a particular value of i here v power i changes here the string that is the substring v changes for a particular value of i check whether the string that is for example i is equal to 1 if i is equal to 1 what is the string u v w so original string already belongs to l for example if i is equal to 2 u v square w that is the substring that present in v is 2w if that belongs to l or not belongs to l if that is not belongs to l then immediately say that it is a not regular language this is the procedure of proving a given language is a not regular in the next sessions we will discuss some of examples of how to check whether a given language is not regular language thank you